Did you bring the key? No. Did you bring the key? Shoot. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, it's big. This is Central Park. This is Central Park. Right there. We built Central Park around this building. Really? So that you could have this view looking <laughs> through the trees. That is a pool. Really, you guys have a pool on the roof. We have a pool on the roof. So what does this place cost? Oh, it's priceless. Welcome to Central Park. This is the northern end of the park, and it's really nice here. The closest train is the 110th Central Park North stop. There's a little brick wall called the Farmer's Gate. It might mean something, I'm not sure. But these signs about feeding the animals, they mean something. There's also like a lot of geese and stuff just flying around out here. And I think that up there is some sort of uh, vulture. If you live in today's apartment, you can start your own nature channel. But even if you don't do that, this is one of the coolest parts of the park. It's quiet, it's peaceful. You could probably go fishing in that lake. And this is kind of like having your own backyard where your dog can take you for a walk and where you can make phone calls. It's quiet. It's a nice place for phone calls. This says you're not allowed to fish in Central Park and catch food. Interesting, it is catch and release. The most unsatisfying part of fishing. There's also this super long walkway. I guess you can come out here and get some exercise. You can go for a walk. You can go for a run. You can do some push-ups on the sidewalk. It's closed? Oh, the whole garden is closed. Oh man, there's like a gorgeous, oh, you can't see. It looks like this, like this, and like this. It's gonna be brand new tomorrow. I've actually never been there, I wanted to go. It's only closed for like one day. <laughs> the apartment building's by these towers, these towers are by the lake, and then boom, the garden is right there. I'm gonna see if we can scale this small mountain and get a look inside. All right, here we are. Oh, the stupid trees are in the way. What a waste of time that was. But you can see the rest of the neighborhood. Central Park is awesome. And just because you live in New York doesn't mean you're actually gonna enjoy Central Park. If you don't live near it, or you live near one of the busier parts, your experience is gonna be way different than if you have this, like, right outside. That's a salon, that's a cleaners. Oh, that looks real good. Steak and hoagies. And there's a full grocery store right here. One block from the building. Check out this little cafe right here. It's like a magical place full of food. I don't know what they serve, but look, it's really nice inside. Here's the building. And look, that's the entrance to the park right there. John says we can see the roof we first. We can see the roof. Yes. Do it. Oh. Welcome to the roof. Cool thing about this corner of the park is that the Northwoods, just across the way over there, that's the highest elevation in the park. Because we're on this corner, we see the highest elevation of the Northwoods, but we also see the pond right here, which gives us really the most ideal view of everything around us. I just think it's cool how you got this clear view of Midtown, you can see the ESB, that's some bridge that goes somewhere. This building right over here. This red thing? The red thing on top. People would come out and ask like, what's that? Why are there people hanging out on the roof? That's a jail. That was the Lincoln Correctional Facility. It's now been decommissioned. But at some point, if you would have committed the right type of crime, then you could have gotten a major upgrade in whatever your view was <laughs> to, to move right up to the top. And then up here, you got your tables. Boom. Some burgers, cash. Yeah, let's do it. Really, really nice little deck. Super quiet too. Is that a pool? That is a pool. Really, you guys have a pool on the roof. Some of the apartments don't have bathtubs or showers, so for those apartments, we've got a giant tub right here and showers just behind you over here. The gym is super high end. There's just people in there right now. Is this another deck? This is another deck. Oh, wow, it's big. How many decks does the building have? Three big decks, two on the roof and then one out here. Got it. You know, it's great to use this just off the gym in case you wanted to come out for some wind sprints or some yoga, whatever you want. Wind like. sprints. You know. We've also got a game room slash movie room, but if this isn't professional enough for you and you don't like foosball, wait till we see the other lounge. This is an awesome lounge. It actually kind of feels like a library, probably because of all the exciting titles. Like this one about economics. Whoa, gas fireplace, it's pretty sweet. We've got fire, water in the pond, there's wood, there's metal somewhere. I mean, <laughs> like every element that exists. What's this? Ooh. Dining room. Oh, that's nice. 
I've been to a couple of marathon viewing parties in this particular room because Fifth Avenue is right here. So the New York City Marathon, it goes right to, oh yeah, because that's Fifth Avenue. That's Fifth Avenue. Wow, right okay. There. What does this cost? So this is $2,200,000, and that includes the apartment, and there's parking as well. Awesome. Parking and storage, and dreams. And dreams. <laughs> and life, and opportunity. <laughs> you know, the people who purchased this layout were those that were initially looking for a three bedroom option, but they didn't want to pay for the third bedroom. And so you've got something larger than most bedrooms. It could be used as a sleeping area, a den. Is this also a bedroom? Yeah, oh yeah, this is the fourth bedroom. <laughs> it's not a walk-in closet, it's a storage room. Really, this is kind of overwhelming for a New York apartment. Just for scale, look at that. And I am one tall drink of water. <laughs> That's $3 million water pressure and a $2 million apartment. Sink sprayer too, look at that. It's a beautiful kitchen. This is a beautiful kitchen. Black granite countertops, tea cabinetry, thermidor, appliances. Is this the dishwasher? That's the dishwasher. There it is. Hidden. So I'm guessing when you guys built this, you went to somewhere other than Home Depot. Home Depot was not on the list <laughs> at all. They weren't even runner up. Ooh, look at that. There it is. In my apartment, the vent works like this. Freezer. Ice. Ice. Lots of storage. Pull out snack drawers in here. What is this? This key is the key that unlocks your future. <laughs> and it can only be found in this apartment. Nice big range. Lots of room too on either side to just set stuff out. Look at that. You got your built in breakfast counter right here. These apples are made for jugglings. <laughs> That's pretty good. According to the iPhone, this is 20 feet wide, 13 and a half feet long. Solid living room, lots of room for furniture, and you could totally supersize your TV. If you're not the kind of person that wants to go enjoy the park, which is probably one of the main reasons for getting a place like this. Not to mention that it's super quiet in here, and since it's not like a small place, it can really lean back and Stretch your legs. The fifth floor view of Fifth Avenue is also really cool. There's a lot to look at. We're facing west, so you're gonna get sunsets in the evening. Just do an actual noise test here. That's nothing, it's so quiet. I am telling you, in certain parts of lower Manhattan, if you open your window, you're gonna pay for it. You know how easy it would be to live here and have people over? Big dining room, big kitchen. I don't know if I have enough friends to fill this place up on a Friday evening. There's also lots of room in here for additional furniture. So if for some reason you've got more than what you see in this image, there will be room for it. Okay, this is a pantry. That's pretty exciting, but the laundry machines next door are probably higher up on the list. Just a little bit. I like how these are in their own room. You can throw some soap up top. And these are located in a little hallway that leads to one of the bedrooms. that this is actually the smaller of the two rooms, if you can believe it. This is the size of entire apartments in other areas of this city. Love the little desk face in the park. You're not gonna get any work done. The view's just too good. And what's pretty cool is this room is the exact same size as the living room, minus the hallway. You can get up to a king bed in here, no issue. Plenty of room for a big dresser, that could be a TV. End tables on either side. And the closet's huge. That is a lot of clothes. And there's two sides. If you're me, your wife gets this side and this side. You'll have to put your stuff in the pantry. The bathrooms here are awesome. Look at this. I mean, do you need a tub when this is this nice? Look, there's like 18 different ways to clean yourself, including the all important wand for scrubbing behind your ears. This will clean everything from your body except the shame that is in your mind from bad decisions. Those it's also a microphone. Start spreading the news. There's also lots of storage in this cabinet and all the drawers 
Except for that one will fit things. But not only is this deep, look at that, you got some free toilet paper. You're underselling this. I know, man. Can't put a price on that. We've also got some storage right here. Look at that. I also like how this bathroom is frosted. If somebody does barge in on you when you're in there, they will see a silhouette that makes them imagine things that are worse than reality. Also, this bathroom is directly across the hall from this. So it's kind of like a primary suite, but it's not the actual primary suite. Do you have the dimensions of this bedroom? A thousand yards wide and a thousand <laughs> yards deep. This is a king size bed. You could put two king size beds if you wanted and then you still have like an entire room. Yeah, it's big. Now obviously after you get whatever bed you want, there's room for whatever dresser you want as well, along with a magic mirror and this little chair and this little light, which is in the perfect spot for you to read a manuscript in the evening when there's no natural light. We already know what the view looks like. All the windows have the same view. And then look over here, you'll probably put something that's uh, not these things but they look great. How many closets do we have over here? Right now, we have three that you know of. That I know of. Is there a secret one in here somewhere? There could be. Whoa, check that out. Size alone. Oh, this is wonderful. It comes with like a built-in shoe rack. This is essentially a second storage room. You've got your linen closet. Nice. For linens. Do you call it linens? Um, we say sheets and towels. Step in so you can step all the way in. Look at that. All the way in. Storage in this apartment's definitely a 10 out of 10. This literally could be its own apartment. You could just live in the bathtub. Look at that, you could have a relaxing bubble bath in there. Not just one, two sinks, one medicine cabinet. Oh, that's gonna result in some arguments. Shaver on the counter, that also might result in some arguments. But look, we got plenty of storage, two towel racks. And even if you're not a bath person, don't worry, you take a shower in here at the same time as somebody else's in the tub. And of course, you got yourself one of these. Great place. This could be yours. If you want to live across from Central Park, you talk to John. His email's right here. See you in the next video. Hit me up.